forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so that you know when my new video is up. Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial. This time we are doing a miniature slime in a miniature kitchen with miniature ingredients. Before we start making our miniature slime, I will teach you how to make a miniature baking soda box. First, we will need templates, of course. I made this myself and you can make your own as well. However, if you don't want to or you can make your own, I will leave this template for you on my blog. Let's continue. When you are done cutting your templates, don't be too perfect when you are cutting because we will protect the paper first with some regular tape. This way the paper is going to last longer and it's not going to get damaged by whatever we put inside, in this case baking soda. We need something else. We need baking soda. Now we can add our baking soda to the box. If you are not making slime, you don't really need baking soda. You can use baby powder instead or you can leave it empty and use it as a display for your dollhouse. We are ready to go because it's slime time. For the slime we're gonna need a bowl, a spoon, white glue, or I ran out of white glue so I'm using some glitter glue that I found. We need to add a small amount of glue to the bowl. Actually, we need a little more. Pour some contact lens solution. For this step, I have tried different brands of contact lens solution, but this is the only one that have really worked for me, so keep that in mind. Let's add some glitter because shine is important to our slime and I wanted to take advantage of my almost transparent glue because if you add glitter to white glue it's not going to show that well. When we have something fancy like this we are ready to mix. This part is actually pretty relaxing. I don't know what it is but when you make cookies and cakes there is something pretty relaxing about mixing ingredients together or maybe it's just me. As you can see our slime is taking form but it's a little bit sticky but worry no more. We are going to fix it by adding some baking soda. It is important that you don't add too much baking soda because your slime is not going to be flexible. However, you can always make it better by adding more glue. It's so interesting how one ingredient can make our slime come to life. Look how amazing it is and shiny. The best thing about slime is that you can make it any color that you like. Try to make your own versions, add different colors of glitter, add the colors that you like, mix ingredients together and make it your own. Practice makes perfect so if it doesn't work at first, keep trying as everything in life and never forget to enjoy what you do. This is the final result. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a really big like and a comment down below. If you want me to keep making more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and be part of the beautiful Mean family. You are always welcome and you are awesome. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.